Hello YouTube, it's time for an update for my Dad to Glory. Remember, this is a Road to Glory with no FIFA points spent, only the grind from the Bronze Pack method, some trading, completing the SBC. We are Thursday, Thursday is Marquee Matchup Day, and for a lot of players, this is the first week that we try to qualify for foot champs. Although, I must say, for this quick update, I'm not going to show any gameplay, but foot champs for me is not happening. I'm 0-3 after three games of playoffs. And I just remember how much I hated that format earlier last year. At the middle of the year, once I got a grasp on gameplay, it was a breeze. Four win was super easy to get. But this year, I don't know why. I'm having a tough time playing the game. Everything feels so random. The club is clunky. I'm not a fan of my club. I sold most of my tradable, so everything here is pack pull, uh, untradable except uh, Shamudov that I want to keep. I'll wait for him to rise a little bit in value and then I'll offload him. He's a super sub for me right now. Everything else is pack pull and I don't like it. I regret crafting Marcus Rashford. I don't know why. He's clunky. He's supposed to have everything, good pace, good finishing, good skill moves, but he feels clunky. Even Vinicius, who I thought was a beast, feel clunky for me. I don't know why. Everybody feels clunky. Super subs feel clunky. Everything is random. The passes are kind of broken. So it works, but if you go too short, it bounces around at the feet of your opponent. And if you go too long, it bounces straight to your opponent. So I need to find the middle ground here and I don't know what to do honestly I played a 4-2-2-2 and the 4-1-2-1-2 and it's not working for me maybe I should play more of the 4-2-3-1 I'm used to that last year I was playing 3-5-2 and when you play playoffs all you have are five at the back rats who passes around it takes forever it's super boring I really really don't enjoy the gameplay right now but the grind is super fun so that's what i wanted to do quick update on the grind quick update on the bronze pack method as you can see my transfer list is sort of empty because everything is selling uh you need to relist sometimes one or two times the bad rares like these guys from saudi and stuff Th these are bad rares but most of the time everything will sell fairly quick if you open the packs check the prices get used to the spc people are still doing the uh, early spc so quick example there are three three in form that you can pack right now using the bronze pack method i packed all three today there's one bronze guy from the chinese league and two silver in forms that are packed within the bronze pack method so what you do you open this guy is not at 200 so you list 350 you can go low the point is to sell as quick as possible there, there's solution you don't know why some of these cards are expensive and there, there's no reason for it they are just expensive people are doing easy solution they're getting getting lazy they're just buying cards on the the market quick and they're not checking the prices so if someone pays for a bronze 400 coins instead of two this is 200 more for you and it goes to paying back the pack. So the bronze pack method is super efficient this way, especially this week. Three informs you can pack. Those are guaranteed profit. You should stash them in your club a little bit. They will go crazy high in value uh, once there's an objective requiring goals with silver uh, informs or whatnot. Last year, they went as up as 25k, I think. So you should keep them all. And right now, the bronze pack method is better than staying afloat. When it's bad, you just keep your coin balance as is. But when it's good, you're doing profit and keeping cards within your club to do the silver upgrades. And when you do a lot of silver upgrades, you get silver rare, silver commons, and they are useful in the marquee matchup. Before I did the update, I just did all the marquee matchup with pa cards I had in my club, a uh, ton of silver, uh, there's no uh, minimum requirements on most of them, so you put a couple of gold rares. I rated like around 82, 
get the rating up and you filled with silver it goes super super quick so i completed marquee matchup for no coins at all everything was in club everything was untradeable so super easy and that's what i wanted to do update check the spc open my packs for marquee matchup show you a little bit of the uh, bronze pack method how it goes as you can see it goes really easy and what i will do next is i have to finish this guy even though he is leaked to have a road to the knockout stage card this is annoying i only have the uh, 87 rated squad to complete so it's kind of expensive but i, I started might as well finish he looks like an absolute unit in the middle and i have my guy vinicius that it, i should play it's a 200k card even though i don't really like him I, I have to play him i have to find a way to use him on the wing and not use him as a striker he's a really really bad striker and i'm not such a good player from the wing so i have to correct that and use him where he has strength which is on the wing going fast so th that's me I i'm complaining about having a vinicius jr i know i know it's bad it's a week into the game and i'm already complaining about cards it is me i'm an old man i'm grumpy i like to complain a little bit i'm a little bit cranky too playing the three games of playoff really killed my mood so <laughs> that, that was that for me so let's open some pack let's have some fun like mixed player pack 12 players four of each some rares Oh, it's a bronze. A bronze walkout, maybe? I doubt it. Got some rares from the bronzes. You sell those. Uh, okay. Check the prices. You never know. My uh, transfer list is sort of bare right now, so I can just put some cards in. Get some coins. Uh, he's not selling. Balotelli's probably not selling. This guy, probably not either. Silvers, I don't know. Might as well. Uh, no rares. Good nations, maybe? From Argentina? No. Nothing is really selling. Some of the bronzes, you put them up. It's technically free coins, because when you complete the marquee matchups from cards you packed doing the bronze pack method, your profit is already made. So, it's extra. It's sugar coating on the top of the cake, so it's all good. And if you get extra cards, just put them in the club. I do not sell everything that's tradable. I am not crazy like that. I know it's the most efficient way to be liquid, but I, I don't like buying cards anyway. Because they lose value, you lose coins. i much rather crack open as much pack as I can and then try to build untradable squads. Like Godfrey here, I don't know, I packed him a million times three rares the rare spain guy will probably sell for something because of marquee matchup so let's put him for six uh, this week too we had some spc that required some silvers uh, from good nation i did a little bit of coin here uh flipping li like you mass bid on position let's say left mid right mid from a good nation you check the price you mass bid one or two hundred coins under and you make instant profit it's not much but if you do this a hundred times and you make 200 coins per card, do the maths. It's 20k. It's fairly easy to do. It's kind of boring. But if you want to change pace and stop doing the bronze pack method, I don't know why you should. Because it is... You can do it on your phone. You can do it on the computer. I, I do it on the web app. It's so much quicker than on the uh, console. There's no delay. Console has tra crazy delay. It's really annoying. Uh, silvers from Good Nation. I'm gonna keep those, and Arnautovic will sell for probably absolutely nothing. So discard. I could have listed him for 700 and do a couple more coins, but you know, Prime makes player packs again. Silvers and bronzes. I don't even know what's a walkout, and this is going to be Marusic. So far, marquee matchup are really, really bad for me. This guy will... No, 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 no. Let's keep everything. I'll figure it out after the episode. Maybe I'll sell a couple of cards here. So let's finish. Last pack. The, the big one. 82 plus guaranteed. It's going to be an 82. You know it, but... It's going to be... Nothing really fancy. No fireworks. And it's an 83 de Toma. It's not an 82, so I guess it's a W, right? No, it's not a W. There's nothing, nothing in this pack. How bad it is. Wow. This, <laughs> it's, 
Hey, sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. This is the marquee matchup grind. When it's free, you can't really complain. If I had synced, I don't know, 300 coins into this, <laughs> 300,000 coins or something, I would have been pissed off. But it's free, so I can't really complain. I don't have a preview pack to open. I don't do promo packs, really. I don't waste coins in there. So, yeah, that, that's the update. I, I thought uh, I was naive. I thought I would play champs this weekend. But it's really not happening. Even though I complete Valverde, if I'm not playing champs, I'm not going to rush him. I'm just going to take my time. I, maybe I should do those guys. The, the dynamic duos... I don't know, they feel they feel kind of okay for squad building. Sterling is a really good value card. Uh, Chelsea will win. Uh, England will win. So it's a plus two upgrade probably within a month or so. I guess it's good. But everything else, Gakpo is not really... I don't know. It doesn't feel right. So you know what we should do? We will do my favorite part of the grind, a gold upgrade pack. These are my favorite to do. And after that, we are going to call it a day. I'm just going to show you. That, that's how I packed Vinicius. That's how I packed a ton of uh, informs and stuff. So you know what? I'm putting tradable cards because commons are sort of worthless this year. They are minimum buy now. You just put them here. No chemist three. There's no league SPC, so I'm not checking anything. I will pack those guys a million times anyway. So I will finish the episode and the quick update on a two rare gold player pack. Maybe my luck will turn to finish this. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Let's see. It's gold. It's a little bit fancy. And it's going to be Lucas. Vasquez. That's not a home run, but uh, could have been worse. And it's a dupe, and it's untradeable. I'll have to deal with that later. But for now, I must bid you adieu. Ciao.